day. Well, I wake up, have my morning routine in the villa, which is so nice by the pool. Uh, and then I make a smoothie and um, head to the co-working space. Uh, and sometimes I work from the villa because the internet is, is so fast there and I just I love the villa. And then I usually go to the beach or have a massage. It's like so cheap here to have massages. Um, and then of course every day a smoothie bowl. That's a must. <laughs> Ooh, my highlight so far has uh, definitely the master classes and skill shares. Um, especially the first Skillshare session when, where we learned to set the goals um, because I didn't really have a goal setting uh, system in place before but now I have my daily and weekly goals and uh, my product productivity I've just uh, skyrocketed. A typical day in the life of a work wonder is to start the morning off pretty hot, jump straight from my bedroom into the pool to cool down. Uh, then I'll grab a early morning cup of Kratom, uh, which gives me the, a lot of intense focus for the rest of the day and I head straight to the outpost. Um, I usually find myself to be extremely productive there. Um, so I usually like to finish the day a bit earlier, around 5 p.m. Uh, and then it's a chuck up in the air between either trying to catch the sunset on the beach with some beers or out exploring on the scooters trying to find the Bali's best foods. One of my extra highlights of Work Wonders, uh, and it's hard to pick because they're very good at putting together excursions, we've been on quite a few. Uh, but one more specifically, probably the Water Temple. Uh, I'm not really a very spiritual person, but it was really nice to kind of see the different cultures and kind of try to get in touch with my spiritual side and uh, kind of see that, you know, kind of side of things. Um, and then other than that, a great thing that I really enjoyed was we, we decided to throw together a house party in our villa and just kind of all jump in the pool and get some drinks and that was really fun because you, you just learn so much more about people when you're kind of in that environment. What's my typical day like as a wanderer? This is kind of a tough question because every day is a little bit different, which is actually one of my favorite things about work wanderers. When joining a co-working retreat, I thought, oh man, how can I be on my own schedule and do my own thing? I have to be part of this group and there's always activities going on. But it's not like that at all. I just wake up and whatever I feel like doing that day, whether I want to get straight to work or just go for a walk on the beach or call my family, whatever it is, it's up to me. I don't have to plan it in advance. So even if there are activities going on with the group, it's completely my decision if I want to join them or not. And it's not one of those things where they say, it's your decision and then you get all this FOMO if you don't go. Like, I actually feel completely fine not going and it's okay. So I guess a typical day for me, I'll take today for example. I woke up um, in the villa and I took a few calls from the villa just because it's quiet and relaxing in the morning. And then I headed over to the co-working space. So I've been here for the afternoon, met up with other wanderers, other people that have just met here. I do partnership outreach for a company at least four to five hours a day. So I'll like, get my own little spot in the co-working space, which you have it work there for a few hours and then usually take a couple hours in the afternoon just to myself. I'll read a book, I'll go to the beach, I'll go for a walk, I'll eat some really good food, it's amazing food here in Bali. <laughs> um, and then in the evening, usually meet up with the other work wanderers and we'll grab dinner together. Since the retreat started, our typical day really changed for the better. Um, I really got used to working at the co-working space and I feel so much more efficient. I also recently started waking up at 7 a.m. which is so much more different than I do at home. Uh, at home I would not even put an alarm clock, wake up at around 8 or 9 and these extra hours that I now get in the morning, um, I feel like I'm accomplishing so much more in my day. I would do most of my priority and like harder work in the morning, then we would go grab a quick lunch together somewhere around the co-working space and in the afternoon I would have many hours to work on my own project, my most crea creative project and I feel like um, I really got so much done during this month and yeah, all of my, my projects and ideas really kind of bloomed during this time. Yeah, for sure. Uh, and also, being a couple, our days are pretty much similar. We, we wake up together, we have a nice breakfast, we go to the co-working space, sit around uh, the rest of our group and just work together. Uh, from there we continue the day to the beautiful sunset at the beach. Uh, 
dinner and then back to our beautiful villa to close a very productive day and again the next day. Uh, my typical day uh, with work when in Bali has been starting with a, a, a coffee. The coffee in Bali is great. I uh, really enjoy it. There's lots of places to try it out. Um, it will often start with a couple of emails in the morning and then uh, some, some time to get my head down and really uh, commit to some, to some hours. Uh, in the afternoon, it's a bit more relaxed. Um, try to hit the beach as much as I can, some sundown appears for the sundown. Um, but it's been overall it's been really nice, relaxed atmosphere um, and a great time to get some some uh, great work done. The highlights uh, so far have been uh, some of the trips that we've done uh, over to Uber Monkey Forest, the uh, excursions to Nusa Penida. Um, surfing lesson was great, it's not one of the worst experiences of my life, um, but it was a very much enjoyable.